Welcome to the video on techniques on the use of a pipette. In this video, we will show you how to deliver 10.00 mils into an Erlenmeyer flask properly using a 10 mil volumetric pipette. First, we inspect the pipette to make sure that the tip is not chipped and the top end of the pipette is smooth and flat. If the top end of the pipette is chipped or not smooth, it is very difficult to pipette. Acclimatize the pipette. Acclimatizing the pipette means to rinse the pipette with the solution to be used. In this video, we will be using solution A. When using the pipette, do not pipette the solution directly from the flask in which the solution is stored. This could contaminate the solution. Always choose an appropriate clean and dry beaker and pour a small quantity into a labeled beaker. Here we have two beakers which contain the same volume of solution A. Compare the depth of the solution between the 50 ml beaker and the 250 ml beaker. The solution in the 50 ml beaker has more depth and it will be easier to pipette the solution out of this beaker. To fill a pipette for acclimatization, use a rubber bulb to pull up the solution. If you're right-handed, Depress the pipette bulb in the palm of your right hand. Hold the pipette in your left hand, but keep your index finger near the top of the pipette. This will make it easier to put your left index finger over the top of the pipette and hold the level of the solution when you remove the pipette bulb. Keep the tip of the pipette below the surface of the liquid to avoid sucking up air and sucking the solution into the pipette bulb. The level of the solution should always rise up the pipette. The solution should not drain back into the beaker. For acclimatization, we draw up a small amount of the solution, about one-third to one-half of the bulb of the pipette. Remove the bulb and tilt the pipette horizontally to rinse the inner walls of the pipette. Make sure to let the solution slide past the calibration mark near the top of the pipette and rotate the pipette to ensure the solution touches the inner walls of the pipette. Drain the solution completely. After draining all the solution used in the acclimatization, dry the top of the pipette thoroughly and repeat this step three times to finish acclimatizing the pipette. Pipette and deliver 10.00 mils of solution A. Fill the pipette with the solution past the calibration mark. Remove the bulb and quickly place the index finger of the left hand over the top of the pipette to hold the level of the solution. Tilt the pipette slightly and wipe away any liquid on the outside surface. Using the same hand, place the pipette between the second and third finger to support the pipette and pick up the beaker to bring the pipette calibration mark to your eye level. Slowly release pressure on the index finger so that the bottom of the meniscus approaches the calibration mark at eye level. At the mark, apply pressure on the index finger to stop the level of the solution such that the bottom of the meniscus is sitting on the calibration mark. Inspect the tip of the pipette to make sure that it doesn't have a hanging drop. If there is a hanging drop at the tip of the pipette, touch the tip of the pipette on the wall of the beaker and recheck to ensure that the position of the meniscus has not changed. Now you're ready to deliver the solution into an Erlenmeyer flask. Bring the pipette to the Erlenmeyer flask and release the pressure on the index finger. Drain the solution into the Erlenmeyer flask with the pipette tip touching the wall of the flask. After draining, wait 10 seconds before removing the pipette. At this point, the calibrated amount of liquid has been transferred. Look closely at the tip of the pipette. A small portion of solution remains in the tip. Do not blow out the pipette. Thank you for watching the video on techniques on the use of a pipette. 